Hey guys, my name is Jordan Shadowins. Welcome to the channel that looks out for the little guy. In this series, we are going to build an algorithmic trading software in Python using eTrade's developer API. Can you make money day trading against big money players? Let's find out. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is go to jetbrains.com slash PyCharm, and we are going to download the PyCharm IDE. So go ahead and click download. There's going to be two versions of PyCharm. This is going to be a professional and the community version. What we are going to be downloading today is we're going to be downloading the free trial of the professional version. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and uh, get that um, installed and set up and uh, we will move over to the E-Trade um, developer webpage. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the E-Trade developer webpage. And we are going to go down to the ready to start developing section. There is going to be a logon button that you will um, click on. And what it'll do is it will generate your access keys. Um, it'll give you um, one for your consumer key and the other one is going to be your uh, consumer secret. So once you guys obtain that, you're going to go and download the Python um, uh, the Python uh, example application that E-Trade uh, provides you. And once you get that uh, that application downloaded, what you'll need to do is open up your Py, um, PyCharm application. All right, guys. So at this point, you should have your eTrade example um, application downloaded and your access um, keys generated. So the first thing you're going to do is um, Go to open up uh, PyCharm and um, find your the location of the uh, example application that eTrade provided. And once you have that uh, that project opened up, go to the the config.ini file, and in this file you are going to um, enter the consumer key in the consumer secret and once you guys have that that entered you can actually go ahead and click on eTrade underscore Python underscore client and run that all right guys so the last thing we got to do is actually start up the application. So go ahead and click on eTrade underscore Python underscore client. Um, do a right click and then hit run. And then it's going to give you a couple options here. Um, so we are going to choose option one since we uh, generated uh, the sandbox key. If you guys do um, have the production key already you can go to option two and and run it as a um, a live um, application but uh, so I'm going to do to option one so I'll type one then hit enter and then I am going to accept the the terms agreement and then I am going to copy this code that eTrade provides me I'm going to go back to PyCharm and um, paste the code and then hit enter. And then at this point we are um, connected to eTrade. So um, if we want to, we can type one to get some market quotes. 
and before I uh, enter a stock symbol, I'm going to let you guys know in the, the sandbox environment, E-Trade only provides default data. So, for example, it doesn't matter what I type in, it is always going to be uh, the default. So if I type, uh, um, oh, I pop up. So if I type uh, uh, FB for Facebook and hit enter, it's going to provide me some um, totally different uh, stock symbol. So most of the time it's going to provide uh, um, Google um, stock symbol as an example. But uh, you can see what kind of um, result it, it does return. So re it returns the date, the symbol, the security type, which is uh, equity, um, and then the last price, and then um, today's change, what it opened at, the previous close, the bid, the ask, and the day range, and then the volume. Uh, not very useful um, sandbox environment because the the default uh, data is um, kind of annoying, but uh, it does allow us to know that uh, if we do get this default data, we are um, calling to the E-Trade developer API correctly. Uh, the last thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to type 2 for the account list. Uh, let's go ahead and choose the, the first uh, account listed. So we'll type 1 and then enter. And then, as you can see right now, it will give us uh, um, some examples. So uh, we, uh, we can do, we can check the, the balance. Um, we can, which is just going to return the balance uh, um, for uh, the account that we we selected. Um, it's so right now uh, it's going to show zero. Uh, we can go to see the portfolio. Um, it'll give us an example portfolio. Um, see that we got some kind of see what it what it's going to return here the quantity the last price the price paid the total gain and then the value of the stock and then right here this is one is kind of useful uh, the order screen or the order option it's going to allow us to see what orders we have open um, which orders we ex executed, and then uh, which orders got uh, rejected. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a, a preview order, and we'll actually create one. So one for preview order, and then one for select new order, and then we can choose um, the market uh, um, price type or the limit price type. Let's go ahead and just do market. So that's going to provide us a um, a default uh, um, default symbol and um, data, anyways. And then let's do um, the action type as buy. Oops, buy, and then we'll do a hundred shares. And then what it'll do is it will give us a, a preview order. Uh, this right here, the preview ID, that is going to be important when you're actually um, making your own applications. You're going to need the preview ID to actually place an order. Um, and then, uh, as you can see, we have all this, this um, data that it, uh, it provided us. Um, so, yeah, not, not the greatest. It's all manual right now, um, but it's it does give you a feel of what uh, what kind of stuff you can do um, when creating your own um, application. Of course, what we would want is more of a um, a automatic um, or automated um, 
application where we can automate our trades, but uh, it does give us uh, uh, some good example about um, what we would what we can we can get back from eTrade when calling its uh, API. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to back to the eTrade um, developer website and um, click on get started. And if you go down and once you guys are actually comfortable enough, if you go down to this uh, section right here where it says here are some things you need to gain and maintain an API access. Um, if you click on step one, it's going to um, take you to a, uh, uh, a an API user intent survey. And then it's going to, um, step two is going to be the API agreement. And once you sign all this stuff, uh, um, sign the API agreement, um, eTrade is going to provide you a uh, production environment uh, access key. And then if you guys ever do lose your, your access key for um, uh, sam the sandbox environment or the production, production environment, you can always go back to this page right here, um, hit log on, and um, it will show you what your existing key for the sandbox in the production environment and then you can always generate new ones. I know we didn't accomplish a lot in this video, but at least you guys have your consumer key and secret. You also have some example code to go over. In the next video, I will go step by step on how to build a Python script for trading that will make you rich. I'm just kidding. I have no idea if it will make money or lose money, but we will be testing it out in a live market. Make sure you guys subscribe and like this video. Hopefully soon we will find out if we can make money day trading against the big money players. I know I sure fucking hope so. My name is Jordan Shadowins. Thanks for watching. Stay classy, YouTube. Take it way, way, way too far Let's go You ain't know I was a problem